All right, now we're moving on to class Echo in golf airspace. So hopefully Bravo, Charlie, and Delta win okay for you. So um, basically class E is everywhere else. That's a good way you can remember class E. So it's still controlled airspace. Um, it covers a lot of volume and it usually starts pretty close to the surface, just right above class G. And uh, just kind of remember that it starts at those three different floors. So either the surface, 700 feet or 1200 feet AGL. And its ceiling is always up to, but not including 18,000 feet MSL. So let's look at a few examples here. All right, so we'll start with this image on the left. So first of all, one thing I want to point out real quick is this little compass rose ring. So remember how we talked about the other um, so this is one of the other types of things that you'll find on the sectional that you don't really need to worry about. This is called a VOR. It's basically just a piece of uh, radio nav navigation that manned aircraft use to fly certain headings. So even though it has this blue ring, just know that it doesn't affect us. It doesn't matter if you're trying to fly inside or outside of it. You don't need anybody's permission from ATC or anything like that. So you can ignore these compass roses when you see them on the sectional. All right, so back to class Echo. In this image on the left, there's two different floors that class E starts at. So inside of these faded magenta lines, class E's floor starts at 700 feet AGL. So at 699 feet AGL, it would be class G. Starting at 700, it's class Echo. Um, out here, outside of this fade of magenta lines, class echo starts at 1200 feet AGL and then goes up to 17,999. So we can do a little experiment here. So let's say we're right here where my mouse is and we are at the surface with our drone. So if we're at the surface, we're in class golf. If we take the drone and we climb to 600 feet, we're still in golf. If we climb to 800 feet, boom, we're in class echo. So um, that's kind of how, that's a good visualization of how you can determine where class E starts and out here. You could take your drone off at the surface, climb to 1,000, you're still in class G, but then once you get to 1,200, you're in class Echo. And then this image on the right, this is kind of a good image because it shows all three different floors of class E. So out here, class Echo starts at 1,200 feet AGL, and then in here, it starts at 700, and inside this dashed magenta line, class E goes all the way to the surface. So in here, from the surface to 17,999 feet MSL is class Echo. Um, in here, from 700 feet to 17,999, that's class E. And then out here, the floor is 1,200 up to, but not including 18,000. Um, so class G. So class G is uncontrolled, so it lives really close to the surface. In this image right here, if we're not inside the faded magenta line, that means class G goes from the surface to 1,199. Um, if we are inside this faded magenta line, that means class G starts at the surface and goes up to 699 feet AGL. So hopefully that kind of makes sense for you. Just beware. Uh, these faded magenta lines kind of just push class E down an extra 500 feet. So normally class echoes floor starts at 1200 feet but if you're inside this faded magenta line class echo is pushed down to 700 feet agl and the reason for that is it just provides manned aircraft with a little extra separation since class e has a little more strict weather minimums in the manned aviation world so we can go over a couple of examples here so let's say we wanted to launch our drone from right here where my mouse is do we need air traffic control permission the answer is no, because we're in class golf airspace up to, but not including 700 feet AGL. At 700, it becomes class E. So let's say we wanted to launch our drone from out here. Do we need ATC permission? Nope, because at the surface to 1200, it's class golf. So let's say you wanted to take off your drone right here. Do you need ATC permission? The answer is yes, because we're inside the dash magenta lines. That means class echo goes all the way down to the surface. All right, moving on to some harder examples. So let's try to find all the areas where there are class G airspace. So let's start out here in this general area. So can we fly without air traffic control permission? The answer is yes, because class G goes from the surface up to 1,199 feet AGL. 
What if we are inside this blue compass rose? Can we fly? Yes, we don't need permission because this is just a VOR radio station um, compass ring, so it doesn't affect us. If we're inside this faded magenta line, we can still fly without permission because this is class G from the surface to 699 feet AGL, and then it becomes class echo at starting at 700 feet AGL. But if we were in here and we wanted to launch our drone from right here, we would need to get ATC permission first because this dashed magenta line is a transition area for class echo and we know that dashed magenta means that class echo goes all the way down to the ground. So, and then inside of here, this is class delta from the surface to 2,500 feet. So if we wanted to launch our drone from right here, do we need permission? Yes, because class delta is controlled. Okay, let's try this one. So. What if we are right here at the surface with our drone? Can we take off without ATC permission? The answer is yes. And Clash G goes up to 699 feet because be careful, these faded magenta lines um, cover a very large area. They're not always nice, neat little circles. So uh, if we wanted to fly underneath this Class C shelf, we would still be good to go. We do not need air traffic control permission because Class Charlie doesn't start until 1,200 feet. And then if we were in here with our drone, we would need ATC permission first because this is Class Charlie airspace since it has a solid magenta line and it's Class Charlie from the surface to 4,000 feet MSL. Um, if we wanted to take off our drone right here and ex inspect these towers, we would need to get permission from ATC because this is class Delta since it has these dash blue lines. So here's a question. If we are right here with our drone and we are at exactly 1200 feet MSL, what airspace are we in? So the answer would actually be class Charlie because even though this little uh, bracket right here says one, two, it has this little negative hyphen in front of it. So that means class delta is up to, but not including 1,200 feet. So, and then at 1,200, it becomes class Charlie. So if we were right here at 1,200 feet, we would be in class C airspace. All right, let's go through one last slide with a bunch of examples of airspace. So let's say we are right here with our drone at the surface. What airspace are we in? So we would actually be in class golf. And the reason for that is because class B doesn't start until 3,000 feet MSL and goes up to 11,000 feet. So we would be in class G right here. So we're good to fly. And you can't really see it on here because it's too zoomed in, but there is a huge faded magenta line. So class E is pushed down to 700 feet above the ground level. So class G only goes from the surface to 699 but you can't see that faded magenta line on this particular slide, but don't worry on the test, they won't zoom in this far. You'll be able to see the entire airspace. So. so let's try to identify this class B shelf right here. What is the floor and the ceiling of this class B shelf right here? Well, here's your numbers. So the floor is 2000 feet and the ceiling is 11,000 feet. And then we can come over here to Addison. So this is class Delta. And this is class delta from the surface up to, but not including 3,000. And we can see right here at 3,000 feet, this whole shelf becomes class Bravo. And then over here, you have another class B shelf, and it starts at 2,500 feet. So since class Bravo is stronger than delta, uh, this class delta over here would only go up to 2,499 feet.